y'all. Welcome back to the Fierce Kittens channel. Today we're going to talk about backup machines. Sometimes when you're sewing bags, you've moved up from just, you know, your basic domestic machine. You've gotten yourself an industrial machine and you find that sometimes the industrial machine is just a little too powerful. The needles are a lot bigger, which makes bigger holes. You use larger thread. So uh, it tends to chew up lighter weight fabrics. For example, even one layer of a quilting cotton with interfacing is a little too thin for the industrial machine, or at least in my experience, this is what I have found with my Juki DU1181N. Again, lots of numbers. Industrial machines aren't all like that though. There is more of like an all-purpose straight stitch machine called the 8700 by Juki. Um, but a lot of bag makers have either the 8700 or the 1181N or even the 1541, which is geared more toward leather. So one of the things I figured out was that I actually needed a machine that could handle layers for backup, um, but also be able to handle lighter weight fabrics and still give me those decorative stitches or even just a simple zigzag stitch. So as such, I did a lot of research. Uh, and what I ended up landing on was a Janome M7 Continental. This is a newer machine that was released back in 2019. Uh, and I, I researched it quite a bit and I saw one demoed in a store and it was the first one in Central Texas to buy it. Um, and I love it. Uh, it comes jam packed with a lot of features that are unique to me and my needs as a bag maker, but also it's really geared toward quilt makers um, and people who have to deal with uh, undefined number of bulky layers um, as a result. So let's go through a few of those features. So starting with some of the basics, the machine comes with an advanced LCD touchscreen. For those of you with experience with higher end embroidery machines released in the past five years, this doesn't seem so new to you. But if you're upgrading for the first time in 10 years, this craps bananas. The machine comes jam packed with 400 built in stitches, including alphabets and automatic buttonholes. It even has an app that you can use to scan the QR codes on each screen to get more information on the stitch or function you currently have selected. I don't use this much as a bag maker, but it could be useful some of the more special decorative stitches you might find on the machine. As far as feet go, this machine comes with a carrying case that is stocked full of tons of accessories and feet. Most of the stuff that you would find that you would actually need for the use of the machine, including the automatic sensor buttonhole foot, which usually comes separate with most of your standard machines. All of the quilting feet are in here, including the clear stippling foot, a standard stippling foot, a walking foot, and your high powered feet as well. It's a crazy package. For the price that you're paying, this is actually a really cool deal. Above the stitch tabs, there's five toggle buttons. I only use two of these. The first is an automatic foot lift. When you lift your foot off of the pedal, the needle will remain halfway down and the foot will lift. This allows you to easily pivot your work. It's critical for making bag pockets and for taking sharp turns on smaller corners. The next button is really just a quick access for utility stitches. As a bag maker, these are the ones that I care about the most. You can use the LCD panel to change your stitch length and width, or you can use the knobs to the right of the panel instead. The rightmost is for your stitch length, the one to its left is for stitch width. To the left of the panel is a set of buttons. The first is a fix stitch button. It will tie off the end of your stitch. Use this at the beginning and the end of your stitches for security. When you press it, the button will blink, indicating that the next time you start stitching, it will tie off the stitch for you. Next, you have the needle up down button followed by a thread cutting button. For some, thread cutting is a new feature in a sewing machine. The Janome thread cutter does not disappoint. The needle plunges down into the bobbin case, a knife cuts the thread, and when you pull the work out, you have both stray threads on the back side of your work for a clean finish. Isn't that cool? If you ever need to lift up your presser foot, there's a button for that too. Then there's the reverse stitch button. Press and hold this button to move backwards. This is great for locking in your stitches with a little extra reinforcement if you don't want to use the fix button. 
The max speed slider is very important. You can adjust your maximum speed higher by sliding it to the right. The max speed on this machine is 1300 stitches per minute. It's insane. Look at it go. Yes, it's so powerful. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then the start stop button is what you would want to use if you don't want to use the foot pedal. Janome made sure to include a needle threader. While not automatic, it is still pretty easy to use. Simply loop your thread into the hook on the threading apparatus by your needle, then push down the lever to the left side of the machine to engage the threader. The thread cleanly comes out the other side and you are ready to sew. In addition to the all metal construction, something very important for the integrity of the machine, the M7 has a glorious amount of workspace. To the right of the needle is 13 and a half inches of open space. This is a great advantage if you are wanting to sew larger bags. If you count the table, the total work area is just over 17 inches. The number of times I've struggled with smaller domestics to shove a bag under the needle, to not have something hit the other side of the machine and nudge my stitching is way too high. With the Janome, I feel like I have plenty of room. You could, if you want, even shove your head into this open space. That's just how wide it is, but I don't advise it. You could get stuck. Getting stuck is bad. There are only two specialty stitches that I regularly use. The first is one that starts and stops with a reverse stitch. This tends to be more reliable than if you were to manually handle the reversing yourself. The second is one that will apply a fixed stitch to the beginning and the end of your stitch line. Both of these are automatic. One of the features I really love about this machine is the HP option. And I don't mean Harry Potter, I mean high powered. So you have the option to use an additional foot style that puts your needle exactly a quarter inch away from the edge of the foot. Um, so this is great amongst quilters, but the thing that I like the most about it is that the machine is fine tuned to work through the leftmost hole. So you can change out the plate and you can change out the foot to be a high powered foot. The high powered foot comes in two versions. You have a regular standalone foot that actually has a bit of an ankle to it so it can swivel back and forth for the change in layers. But then you also have a walking foot that comes with the machine for the high powered uh, presser foot down here. Or plate, it's a plate, sorry. To install the HP presser plate, go to the LCD panel and tap on the key to the lower right. This will open up a new dialog. Tap on the presser plate icon below the lock and it will automatically push up the plate so that you can lift it and install a new one. Simply drop it in and press down to install. To get out of the menu on your machine, press the key one more time. While you can use the A foot, it is advised that you switch to one of the HP feet. You can install the regular HP foot or the HP walking foot. To install, loosen the screw to the left of the shaft. Remove the old foot and then take the new one and slide it on. Finger tighten it first, then use the screwdriver provided to give a snug quarter turn, but not too far or you could actually strip the screws. Now here's where the machine really shines for me. The intelligent feed system is able to accurately detect the tension required for the fabric beneath the presser foot. As such, it can quickly adjust from a lightweight fabric to a medium weight to a heavy weight. This is going to be chewing through six layers of vinyl that I've rolled up just for this demonstration. Notice how the HP foot glides over it and adjusts to the layer change. This is absolutely insane. Then it goes back to a lightweight muslin, and I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. So we're gonna release the thread here and take a look. The tension was perfect throughout. All of these layer changes, thickness changes, and fabric type changes, and the machine can handle it. Bear in mind that while in HP mode, the machine only has access to a handful of stitches. This is absolutely meant to be a professional mode with semi-industrial properties. So as you can imagine, it's mostly going to be straight stitch only. So there you have it from a bag maker's perspective. There are a million one other really wicked cool features about this machine, but they're geared more toward people who enjoy quilting or sewing garments. And I felt like it might be useful to cover this machine from the perspective of somebody who makes bags solely. Well, occasionally I make clothes. However, I was able to go through six layers of vinyl, like 
crazy, like just like that, without even changing the needle. I had an 8012 universal needle in there. That's pretty crazy. So uh, definitely would recommend taking a look at it. Now you might be asking me about the price. Yeah, uh, talk to your dealer. A lot of dealers have different pricing. They have different deals. I got a really good deal to trade in an extremely old machine um, that wasn't really worth more than the maintenance fee that was on it. So I don't know. Talk to your your uh, your nearest Janome dealer. See what they might want to do for you. Um, all it fails, finance it and ask for forgiveness later. That that's what I do, all the time. So I have a I have a lock on my door. Anyway, don't be like me. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Please like and subscribe and come see me at twitch.tv slash fierce kittens. See you guys.